Grade 7 math, mean absolute deviation, MAD, lesson 11.3c. A mean absolute deviation, a MAD, is an average of an average of differences. So the word mean means average. To find the MAD of a data set, we add up all the numbers of the first set and divide the sum by the number of add-ends. This gives us the mean, the average, of the set. We do the same thing for the second data set. We add up all the numbers and divide it by the number of add-ends. So my dog Lola barked at squirrels for 2 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, and 8 minutes. And I wanted to know the average of how long she barks at squirrels. That's my first data set. I added the 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8, which equals 25. And because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 add-ins, I divided the sum 25 by the 5 add-ins, and I have an average of 5. So she barks at squirrels for an average of 5 minutes. The mean is 5. Then I took a second set of information, a data set, of how many minutes Lola played with a ball. She played for 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 8 minutes, 9 minutes, 10 minutes. I wanted to find the average of how long she played with the ball, so I totaled up these as add-ins, and it equals 35. Because I have 5 add-ins, I divided it by 5, and the average amount of time Lola plays with a ball is 7 minutes. So this mean is 7. My first data set, my average, my mean is a 5. My second data set, the average, the mean is a 7. The very next thing we're going to do is figure out the mean absolute deviation for each set. So barking at squirrels, the mean was 5. The average was 5. Playing with a ball, the mean was 7. The average was 7. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract that mean from each original number for both sets using absolute value. So we had a 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8. We're going to subtract this 5 from the 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8 using absolute value. That means no negatives. We just find the difference between a 2 and a 5, and it's 3. The difference between a 4 and a 5 is a 1. The difference between 5 and 5 is 0. We get another 1, and we get a 3. We do it for the second data set. We have a 3, 5, 8, 9, 10. Here they are. And we're going to subtract this mean of 7 that we got. We're finding the absolute value, so there's no negatives. The difference between a 3 and a 7 is a 4. Between a 5 and a 2 is a 2. We have a 1, a 2, and a 3. These red numbers, these are the absolute deviations. Okay? They're not the mean absolute deviations. They're just the absolute deviations. Now we need to do the mean part. Okay? We total these deviations, the 3, 1, 0, 1, 3, we get an 8, we total 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, we get a 12, and because we totaled 5 add-ins, we're going to divide it by 5 again, and it comes out as a 1.6. This 12 divided by the 5 add-ins comes out to a 2.4. We can round to the nearest tenth if needed. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I said it's an average of an average of differences. We found an average. We found the difference between the average and the original number. And now we did an average again. It's an average of an average of differences. Here's the differences. So we know for data set 1, the average, the mean was a 5. And for the ball, it was a 7. Our absolute deviations are an 8 and a 12. And we found that the mean absolute deviation is a 1.6 and a 2.4. That's the mean absolute deviation was when we took the difference, found the mean again, the average again, and came up with these two numbers. That's the MAD. That's the mean absolute deviations, okay? So, again, here's what we did. 
We find the average of the first set. We find the average of the second set. Then we subtract the average of the first set from each original number in the first set. We subtract the average, that 5, from each of those original numbers. Okay? We repeat step 3 for the second set. We subtract the average from those original numbers. Then we total the absolute value differences, these red ones, for set 1 and find their average. That's how we got the 8. And we repeat that step for the data set 2. We got the 12. Now we have the mean absolute deviations, the averages of the absolute value differences of the averages of our two data sets. Whew. So I want to give a shout out and a thanks to a seventh grade class who found that when I moved the 1.6 up to here, I accidentally wrote 1.5. And good eye, I'm really thankful to you for catching my error so I could remake this correctly and more accurately. I'll see you next video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.